traffic. And I was just talking about it. I was just so upset about people scrolling through their phones, texting, TikToking, being on their social media while they're driving. Because I saw it happen yesterday. I saw that happen. I literally almost got out at a red light and knocked on the window. I really had that thought. I'm doing mm. I thought, I'm doing this. You know? I like that this is your brag for the day. Yeah. I almost. I did. I <laughs> I was so mad I almost got out of my I'm car. So almost. mad. I, I thought about But he was young and uh <laughs> He was white, right? He, yeah. <laughs> he was white. Yeah. He was young. Obvi. He was young and white. <laughs> He was, he was, he, and that, that backwards hat. You just uh-huh. look at me like, oh my god! Oh, yeah, you all hate a backwards hat. I so that hate adds a backwards to it. hat, man. I looked at, it, I was like, you backwards hat. Guy. Yeah, look at you, young, mm-hmm. and you know, wearing a tank top and just in there. And I was like, you know what? I could come across there and knock on your window, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm yeah. not going to do. It. I almost did. I thought. Like you said, I thought that could lead to a scene. Yeah, and I could be like, oh, yeah, he'd have gotten out yeah. Yeah. in that tank top. He broed out on you. It's your problem, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you knock on my window, man. He'd have knocked your, broken your jaw, knocked some teeth out. <laughs> now, I picture him more. On video. And I'd have been the aggressor. I'd have been the one. Yeah. I picture him more like smashing your side mirror off and like throwing it <laughs> oh, into your car. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Don't ever do that again, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. Psycho. I, I think he would have called me bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You're right. I would have been labeled. Back in your minivan, bro. I would have been labeled a Ken or a Chad or whatever. Oh, yeah, because, yeah. uh, again, everyone else is doing what he's doing at the light. So, And I was in my minivan. I was. I know. <laughs> your car's in the yeah. shop. That's right. My car's <laughs> in the shop. Are you seeing what they're doing to my car, by the way? It's incredible. It's incredible. Well, I, evidently, there have been you know a number of photographs posted online. Yeah, yes, yes. The progression of yeah. the, mm-hmm. the rest- restoration of your car, yeah. your Acura. Yeah. And people are sending these photographs to me and saying, Our, this can't be real. And I'm saying, it's real. it is. It's it is. happening. Everything you see is real. Nothing has been no, it's real. retouched or damaged to make it look worse. That's the car That's he drove. That's the yeah. car. And then... Uh, this, they're doing it at Crescent Ford. We work with them locally here, Crescent Ford, and uh, their body shop. We had the idea, let's just transform my vehicle. And they looked at it and said, this will take six weeks. This is going to be mm. a long Damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor. <laughs> Not a miracle worker. I told you, one guy just walked away rubbing his head like, I can't. You know, he quit. Yeah. <laughs> he retired. He's I'm, hiking mountains yeah, in Mexico. Yeah, he's done. He's like, I can't even do it. I'll tell you, some of my favorite is the search for the parts i know they're like i mean it looks like they're in the woods they are <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they've had to go to someone's farm where it's like well Rick, somebody left his car here 10 years ago i know it's like yeah it's like where luke found yoda that time yeah you know, that, and, mm. and, and they're looking around that swamp forest swamp thing <laughs> looking for the parts and uh what makes me sad though is when they strip it down and you see yeah you know, with no headlights, so like the eyes are gone, like it's dead. Yeah. But they're bringing it back, and they're saying within a few weeks I'll have it back. So I was in the minivan, and I was ready to get in that guy's mm. face. Now, and he was white, right? He was white. <laughs> yeah, white guy. It's a very key factor. Full yeah. disclosure: white <laughs> guy, young, too young. When you felt you could bully. Yes, until I really got a look at him. Yeah. He was, he, you know, broad shoulder, uh, pretty good, you know, pretty in shape How guy. hilarious but. would it be? Because I think you said that he kind of was headed in the same direction of your home. Oh, he was. He were, yeah. If he had pulled into your driveway and honk a horn and your son had come uh, in. Yeah, that. <laughs> oh. It's one of his buds. It's a possibility. Yeah. One of the swag bros. That's a po- you know, it's, it could have seen that actually happen. That would have been. Oh, then I would have gotten it. Mm. If he was only 16, I'd have been like, hey. What are you doing? You know, you, should, you stop that. You're following uh-huh. a teenager, you sicko. Stop. Yeah, he is a teen. Yeah, exactly. Here I am following the teenager. There's a study out. Pedo. That, that said, I'm been, not a pedo. I've been called that before. You know yeah, that. Yeah, you were. Hey, you pedo. It's like, what's your name? Wouldn't you like to know you pedo? What? <laughs> that was when a video, when my son was playing his video <laughs> game. That was when, when you were just yelling into space. Over yes. to the chat room area. Yeah. Yes. I was in there and my son was playing video games. I didn't know you could play with other people outside the room. And I come in, I'm like, get out of the room or whatever. And one guy is like, wouldn't you like to make me old man? You'll, mm-hmm. you'll, and I was like, who is, who says that? What's your name? Oh, I bet you do want my name, you pedo. What are you, a pedo? And I'm looking around, just punching the air. You can't call me that. I just did, you pedo. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> pedo. And I was like, Wah. and I said, who is this? Like, I don't know. His screen name is whatever it yeah. was, you know. God, that, mm. Mm. he was about 13 calling me a pedo. I weep. I weep. Mm. 
for the future. A study finds that if we got rid of this out of Penn State, if we got rid of all left turns, we'd be a lot safer. Like downtown, there's no left turns. Mm. You know, there's all they're all because you can go up another Believe block. That. Oh, go up another block and go that direction or whatever. Yeah, that's is that where the most accidents occur? People turning left in front of yes, oncoming yes, cars. In front of oncoming cars. Researchers use algorithms to figure out the best way to keep traffic moving and prevent accidents. And the simulations found traffic would be much smoother if we banned left turns at many intersections. Yeah, I think you'd have to do them in some places. But in intersections and high traffic areas, just don't do them. Well, you can do it if they have you know leading green arrows. That way you're not turning against traffic. Yes, but yes. That will slow things down. Yeah, that's right. Uh, depends on the city, depends on the flow of traffic. But in general... The most efficient setups ban left turns near the middle of metropolitan downtown areas. That's what they were saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, only allows them as you get further and further from the center of the city. I guess, then you'd have to. I hear what you're saying, I, but you know, to me, I'm a little surprised to hear it because I would think, based on the cities that I visited, the closer you get to the center, mm-hmm. the slower the speed. No question you know, about that. I mean, yeah. the further you get yeah. out, the yeah. speeds go up. But in like a New York City, if there was no left turns, would it just free things more? Is that what they're saying? If you're, you know, in in downtown, midtown, we're talking about Manhattan. saving lives or just easing traffic well, flow. The first was easing traffic, and then second was preventing like bump ups. I yeah. think they're because the bump up then causes yeah, it, it a huge would probably flood. ease traffic. That's what they're saying, and it would, and, and then if it prevented bump ups, then you don't get yeah. the long delays and so forth. I think I did. I can't remember what it was. One of the delivery companies, maybe it was UPS back in the day or FedEx, but they used they, to say that they try to make all of their routes right turns. It's UPS. They don't. I think so it's they, UPS. So they don't have to make left turns because right. it's more efficient. It's that's exactly right. I think they still do. We got that call a few years ago mm-hmm. saying that UPS doesn't make left turns unless they absolutely have to. There was a an old radio campaign for a politician, and he was not real. It was for radio advertising. Oh, that's right. He only ran radio ads. And he wanted to make left turns illegal. And everybody knew his name, Gene Jenkins. This mm-hmm. was 35 years ago. And it was an election year. And he said, it was like, Gene Jenkins wanted to make private swimming pools illegal. So you couldn't have swimming pools. <laughs> and left turns illegal. And everybody knew who By he was. By golly, people signed up for his campaign.